Around a week ago, Valve released a testing build of the next stable version of Proton that will be Proton 7.0-6. Somehow, I completely missed it, and I only noticed it because it was actually noted sneakily at the top of the latest Proton Experimental update. The Proton Experimental update itself fixed up the Witcher 3, there's improvements for steering wheel support, a regression fix for Mortal Kombat X performance, and an OpenGL fix for Europa. Now on to the bigger one, Proton 7.0-6. You can test this yourself right now by searching for Proton in your Steam library, going into the properties on Proton 7.0, hit the betas section on the left, and select the RC from the dropdown. Do note that this will affect any games you have installed currently with Proton 7.0-5, the current stable version. You can also force games onto Proton 7.0 to test them directly for this in case they're currently on a different version. You can do that in the properties and compatibility menu on a per game basis. So what's actually changed? As usual, quite a lot. Here's just a quick rundown of what to expect from it. Keeping in mind it's subject to change and I imagine it won't be released properly until after the New Year celebrations are over. I wouldn't expect it to be released between Christmas and New Year, although saying that, they only just released SteamOS 3.4 right before the holidays, so a few people at Valve clearly like to do YOLO when it comes to updates. Anyway, Proton 7.0-6 currently will have these games noted as newly supported and playable, including Gotham Knights, Uncharted Legacy of Thebes Collection, Wargame Red Dragon, Heroes of the Dark, Super Arcade Racing, Crazy Machines 3, Ninin Days 2, and some random Asian Mahjong ladies game. There's quite a few fixes here as well, including being unable to log into Xbox Live from the main menu in As Dusk Falls, a fix for Septeracore hanging on Redistributables installation, a fix for Super House of Dead Ninjas, Enemy Mind, and Out There Somewhere frame hitching every few seconds. A fix for the on-screen keyboard popping up every time when starting a Plague Tale Requiem on the Steam Deck. A fix for Zeepkist freezing when using controller. Overcooked All You Can Eat being unable to add a second controller using player. Quake 3 Arena and Quake 3 Team Arena should no longer display weird textures over the menu. A fix for the new EA launcher displaying a blank window, so you shouldn't need Proton Experimental for that when this releases. A fix for Marvel Snap not being able to connect to online services. And multiple fixes for Microsoft Flight Simulator. A fix for Sackboy, a big adventure failing to start the first time it's launched. The Spyro Reignited trilogy playing an intro video in the wrong language is fixed. Jurassic World Evolution 2 bad performance with recent Proton versions. Multiple monitor support in Project Cars 2 is fixed. Korean should now be rendered properly in Romance of the Three Kingdoms 13 launcher. Multiple languages not rendering correctly in Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. And there's fixes for Lost Sands Dark Overlord, Lost Sands Dark Lord, Lost Sands Redemption, and Haunted Hotel Silent Waters Collector's Edition crashing when trying to set a wallpaper. It also brings in an update to Wine Mono, which is a package containing Mono and other projects intended as a replacement for the .NET framework. And there's an update to the DXVK NV API, which enables all sorts of special NVIDIA extra features. Because as a reminder, Proton is available for Linux desktop as well as Steam Deck. I'll have a link to the GitHub post in the description where you can report your findings if you find a new bug not present in the current Proton 7.0-5. Remember to let me know what you think in the comments and as always a big thank you for watching and listening. Be sure to subscribe to follow along and I will see you most likely now after the holidays. So happy holidays, have a safe new year and I'll see you later.